Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you saw my previous video, you know that uh, I have a 2007 uh, Crown Vic LX and uh, a couple of months ago, I replaced the rear air suspension and uh, there's a viewer uh, saw my video and uh, left the message that said uh, uh, there's a, somebody can uh, disable the uh, air suspension warning light after replace the uh, air suspension with the coil spring um, uh, at that time I couldn't find any information about that so I left a message like uh, replied to him say if, if he can find if he knows any videos and website can send the link to me but uh, he didn't reply uh, though then I think maybe I can uh, deep a little bit more and uh, do some research and uh, I might have a solution for that let's find out now uh, you can hear the air pump is working. So what am I going to do is I'm going to turn it off at the trunk, and then there will be a warning light says uh, uh, something like a check air suspension. So let's do that first. So now I'm going to uh, switch off the air suspension. Off. Okay. Now we can see that the uh, air suspension off. That's just a trunk lead, okay? That's the air suspension off. So now I'm going to use a full scan to, to program it. So first of all, I'm going to uh, connect the vehicle. Okay, found the vehicle. Yes, it's 2007 Crown Vic. Okay. Okay, it's ready. And then we go to uh, configuration and the programming. Okay, now we go to IC module, instru uh, instrument cluster module and go in as build as build format then we click the connector okay it says basically just like uh, says like uh, the information was saved already so just don't save save the original data data and then do the changing so it's okay now that's the most important number here okay that's the that's the ID number for the module well, I will explain the numbers later. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the 40 zero to zero, 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 0 Okay, I will explain that later. Very important. So now I'm going to write it. So program it. Okay. Okay. Say so yes. Okay. Now I have to cycle it. But look at this. The warning lights are already gone. So let's go back off. And then click OK. So it works. I disabled the uh, air suspension warning lights. So then I just change it back to original number. And uh, the warning lights come back again, so it works. Okay, let's go back to turn on the air suspension. Okay, turn it on. Okay, warning lights gone. Perfect. Now I'm going to explain the numbers that I just changed so so you can see from my computer the software and uh, this number 7200101 this number is a uh, instrument cluster module ID number so let's look at the paper here so basically that's all the module number 
I have a couple cars here, Lincoln Town Car, CVPI, and uh, my Convic LX. So they all have the same module number, okay? That's the basic number. And then this group number is most important. So let me explain more. So as you can see here, those number, four groups number, they are a binary number. So which means 0101, zero, zero, one. zero means off, one it means on. So, okay. The most important number we're looking at are those four numbers. So those four numbers explains to those two groups. And don't worry about the zero zero, those, those are the same. There's no meanings here. So let's see here. Let's explain the 0101 here. So in this group, this one, the second number means traction control. Okay. So as we can see, all the Panther cars on my list, Lincoln Town Car and the CBPI, all have one. Most of them all have one. So that means traction control is on, except this one, 2010 CVPI. So how do you know if you have a track control? You can see this button here. If your Convict or Lincoln Town Car has this button, that means you have uh, equipped with the traction control. So some Convict CVPI doesn't have the traction control. So for this one, 2010, doesn't have it okay that's the number two here and then number three I know number four I don't know if it says a compass or I'm not sure about this one and then number five I know number six I know and then number seven hour meter that's the idle hour okay so where's number seven so it's here now this one has Lincoln Town Car, 2010 Lincoln Town Car has one. And then particularly you can see CVPI. They both have a hour meter on. So that's the idle hour. The function is on. And I see my civilian from Vehicle LX doesn't have it. Okay. And then the last <coughs> last number on the first group is the rear parking sensor. As we can see, some some Lincoln tanker doesn't have it, but the most of them doesn't have it. So that's a parking sensor. Okay. Now, next group, very important. That's the main topic here. So you can see the blue one, group group two, number one. Blue one is the TPM sensor. So I'm going to explain that later. But number two on this group two is air ride enable. This is important. Okay. So most Chrome, uh, most of the Lincoln Town Car they have a uh, air suspension in the rear. So as we can see, this one doesn't have it. Okay. The Lincoln exec Executive L. As a and the signature has it from Vic CVPI doesn't have it. And my one is on um, has an air suspension. So if I can change this one to zero, then I can disable the air suspension function on my 2007 Crown Vic LX. I'm going to do that. Yeah, let's show you how to do it. Okay, so if you want to change to zero and uh, disable the function, we have to use this uh, software. I will put this uh, in my description down below. Okay, basically, uh, we go select the checksum calculation and then just type in the module ID number. That's how I just showed you earlier. And the data, and the, that's the 4046 or 4840 here. That's the same number from my uh, 
four scan. Okay, same number from four scan. That's the number for my car. When you put in this number, the rest of the, those two groups of uh, binary number is automatically come up. So I don't need to worry about the rest of two. Okay, those four numbers affect those two groups. So <coughs> the purposes of this is I'm going to change this one to zero to disable. So how to do that? So we'll just uh, copy this number to here. So if you want to uh, disable this, then you change to zero. Simple. Change to zero. And then into a hex, it shows zero, zero. So you know that if you change to four, eight, zero, zero, then you can see here, all zero, you disable the air suspension function. And then the, this group no, number is maintain, uh, remain same, remaining same. So then you know you're going to change 4800 okay on your full scan. So here you can change it. So on your full scan, you can program it to 00, zero and then don't worry about those two gaps and then just write it like I showed you earlier. Then you'll be able to disable your air suspension after you replace the coil spring on your Panther car. Simple, it's not difficult. So I will put all the list and all the those information as actually from a full scan form. I will put a link down below and also the software I just showed you earlier, just so you can do yourself, calculate it yourself. So I will both put on the link down below. And you can if you have any questions, you can leave in comments so I will reply you for any questions regarding to this programming so now you know how to uh, disable your air suspension warning lights after replace the coil spring if you have any questions you can leave like, leave the comment down below I will reply to any questions so next thing next project I'm going to do is uh, uh, as you know this one doesn't have the what's called a uh, TPMS sensor uh, I think from 2008 or the Crown Vic uh, equipped with the uh, uh, TPM sensor warning lights. So I'm going to try to uh, enable this function on my 2007 Crown Vic with the full scan. Thank you for watching. See you next time.